So I was messing around with this uh, device after I got it rooted and somehow uh, got it into a boot loop and it was bricked. Um, I couldn't really do anything with it. Even though it was rooted, I couldn't. Uh, from the ADB shell, it wouldn't let elevate me to super user privileges. Um, so I couldn't really do anything and so I had to recover it. And this is, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that on almost any LG device. Um, it should work on most. Um, so this is the LG D-Pad 8 V480. Um, and like I said, it might work on a bunch of other devices also. So um, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So the first thing you actually want to do is go into the LG support page uh, for your specific device. I can link uh, this one in the description. And what you want to go and do is go down into... So first of all, click on the software update tab. And then you, you do want to download the USB driver. Um, that's simple, just download it and then run it and it will install the USB driver. Um, the next thing you want to do is go into the, click on this, software update tab, link, and then from the, from here, we want to go into software update from the LG mobile support tool, and then click to download it, and then click to install it. So now what you want to do is we have to get the device into download mode. This may be different for your device, but on this um, LG V40, G-Pad V40, um, you do it by first have your um, cable plugged into the computer. Or actually you can unplug it, plug it into the tablet, and then hold the arrow up volume up on your tablet and then plug the USB port in to the computer. Now just wait. Okay. So now you see it says download mode and then it says press the up volume key until you see the download screen. Okay. So I held it up and then what it's going to do on your computer um, if you're on, well, yeah, you should be on Windows because that's the only way to do that with the support tool. Um, or I believe there was a Mac. I'm not sure if there was a Mac. But um, it will take a while to install drivers for it, even though we did run the driver software for me. At least it had to um, go through another driver update or install or whatever you want to call it. And then once it's installed, um, you may need to reboot, you may not, If, um, but once it's installed and everything's working, you will have the LG Mobile Support Tool list your device. Okay, so once it's listed, you go into Options, and then Upgrade Recovery. And then it will start the upgrade process. So once it's finished restoring um, your device, um, it should reboot and boot straight into uh, your stock ROM. So here you can see that um, it is booting up. At least I've already booted up before, but um, that it did only just start booting up after. I recovered it, but if if you have issues, um, this this process only um, doesn't mess with the data partition. So that means all your apps should still be there and working, but you could be getting force closes or something like that. And if that happens, 
um, what you want to do is first of all power off and then once the device is powered off um, you would want to do we, we were wanting to do a um, factory reset and then that will clear your data partition and you'll have a clean device just as if you um, when you bought it so what you need to do this is could be could take more than one time um, what you need to do first is hold power and volume down as soon as the LG screen pops up you need to hold down power and volume up and down and then you see right here it comes to factory data reset and if you can move the volume keys to yes and you will do a factory reset so I'm not going to do this because I don't need to but um, I hope that helped y'all uh, get your device back to how it should be if you like these sort of tech videos please subscribe thanks for watching